Good day everyone. In this article, we can see how people are lied to. And unfortunately, a lot of people just believe the mainstream media, believe the people that want to literally suck your pockets dry. And this is related to energy and electricity supply specifically. And in this article in News 24, you know, this is in the finance 24 section. It says South Africa needs 4 trillion to transition away from coal. This is 4 trillion rand and the PIC should contribute, a study says. So this is the fund that houses the money of all the public servants' pensions. They want the PIC to fund this 4 trillion. Now, can you remember during the Zuma days, everyone moaning and bitching and going absolutely ballistic over what they claim to would have been a 1 trillion rand nuclear deal that would give us 10,000 megawatts. Now, 10,000 megawatts of nuclear, and I oppose the Russian deal myself, is a quarter of what Eskom has installed right now that can actually work from time to time out of the 40,000 megawatts. Yeah, they're talking about 4 trillion rand, 4 trillion rand, to transition to renewables to replace the coal-fired power stations. So at the time they were singing this tune that nuclear is way too expensive, that it would cost one-tenth of that to put renewables in place. We all knew they lied. I knew they lied. I made it public and I was very unpopular for it because the so-called energy experts out there that tell you absolute lies they all stand to benefit from this all these renewable companies are in bed with them and these people will sell you anything they can at the end of the day you're going to pay through the roof for this energy cost and Eskom at the moment is suffering because they have to charge you for the very exorbitant cost of wind and solar right now and you are paying Eskom for that Eskom didn't ask for wind and solar to be put in all over the place. It was forced on them, but they have to deliver those prices to you. It is absolutely corrupt and unfair. But let's get into this article so that you can see what these people are planning. And the main thing here is that they want all the government workers' pension to fund this. And this is where you need to see absolute red flags go up. According to a study, South Africa needs to spend about four trillion over replacing its coal-fired power plants with green energy. Now, now you're seeing the true cost of green energy. Not sounding so cool right now, is it? Money will need to be spent compensating coal-dependent communities whose livelihoods are threatened by the change. Researchers say most of the money will need to come from the private sector, but the PIC and other development banks should contribute as well. And it talks about over 2 trillion rand that is sitting with a PIC that should be used towards this. And yet it says financing for the program will need to come from the private sector in both South Africa and the rest of the world. The researcher said government linked institutions such as the Public Investment Corporation, which oversees 2.34 trillion of mainly government workers' pensions, the Development Bank of Southern Africa and the Industrial Development Corporation should play a role the researchers said so this is now what's being promoted how do you feel about this now it was never going to cost a trillion rand to build those nuclear power stations and uh, this was part of the problem if it was a deal where we knew exactly what was happening we were paying for the power stations ourselves it was ours we controlled the land it was built on etc then this wouldn't be a problem but the deal with russia was fraught with problems uh, uh, specifically with regards to sovereignty so it's not that i'm against nuclear power in fact nuclear energy is a clear solution for south africa we have a vast coastline that we can use to supply uh, supply energy inland and it is clean there is no coal problems. We can keep our fuel stored at the stations within costs. So those aren't huge concerns anymore. And to now say that we need to spend 4 trillion rand to go and put renewable energy in, of which you need to put in so much more because it's not available all the time. And that is where the cost comes in. 
there's something wrong with this picture. How do you feel about this picture? Please comment below this video. And this article link will be in the description below this video. Go and read the detail there. I'm not going to go through the entire article now. Tell me how you feel. Do you feel like you've been fooled? Because most South Africans have. Thank you very much. Till the next video.